You know what, Eddie? I just can't get over how good this thing is. A recharger plasma defender. That's such a brilliant idea. I mean, it's like recharger pistol plus plasma defender. It means that I can basically shoot this thing forever and never have to worry about ammo again. I mean, yeah, this thing has a scope and it can use overcharged ammo, but it uses overcharged ammo. This thing doesn't. This thing just goes forever. And you know what's funny about this? Most recharge weapons that I've found, when you pull them out, they, you know, take a while to get ready. They start from, they start with zero charge. Don't ask me why, they do. But this one, it's like, I can shoot up a few rounds, swap something else, and it's instantly charged back up to full. That's actually really incredibly useful. Like, I don't know how much I can abuse this, but I know I'm going to. I mean, yeah, plasma fender with infinite ammo. The only thing I really need to worry about is that it doesn't break too much. And you know, in the week we took off, I collected a few weapon repair kits. So we should be set for at least, you know, may maybe, maybe two or three days, realistically speaking. <laughs> anyway, we're even better set out Oh, and lest I forget, giant flipping laser rocket launcher. <laughs> it's like, it uses so much ammo and I don't even care. Cause look at this thing. This is the most incredible thing ever. I love it. <laughs> so yeah, just try and come up on me. Anyone in the world, see what happens. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't just laze around Good Springs all day, Eddie. We need to get on the road, need to head south, and then eventually head north again. Because from what Johnson Nash told me, uh, the guy in the checkered suit planned to head south through Nipton and then north to Vegas. So that's where we're going to. Well, we needed to go there anyway, because, uh, what's her face? Ranger Ghost, the woman with a severe addiction to whitening cream. Yeah. She sent us to Nipton 2, because apparently the town's on fire. Or, the town has smoke coming from it, and, and you know, where there's smoke, there's fire. Either way, we're going to poke our heads around there, at least. So that the next time we come back to the Ranger Outpost, we can just say, Hey, yeah, it, it was, you know... Just a microwave, you know, caught on fire or something like that, but, you know, something like that. Oh, what's this I see? A jackal gang leader out minding his own business, you say? Well, I happen to have a laser rocket launcher and a burning desire to see how it performs. Yes, yes, I do. Hello, sir. <laughs> Oh, yes, this pleases me. <laughs> oh, I just vaporized a man. I'm a terrible person. A recipe for nuke grenades, you say? Oh, that is lovely. Uh, hello, Ivan Paw Maintenance Tunnels. Eddie, if I ever even think about going in there again, shoot me. It's like, I, I don't care. We're not going back in there. Yes. I recognize that there were areas areas in there that we didn't fully explore, like the Nipton sewer. But, uh, it's not worth it. I guarantee you, whatever's in there, it's not better than this. It's just not going to be worth it. Up, oh, and we have red marks on the compass. Uh, I'm going to say probably just the ants. Oh, yeah, lots of ants. Eating what looks like a dead scorpion. Okay, we'll give those guys a nice little wide berth. No sense picking trouble where we don't need it. Map marker added. Mysterious broadcast signal. Okay. Uh, b -b 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 what's that? Hmm. Kind of jazzy. 
Well, we'll have to pick that out sooner or later. But not immediately. And I kind of failed to account for the time of day. It's getting kind of dark. So, probably by the time we get to Nipton, it'll be full on night. So there's no real harm, I think, in checking out this little plane while we're passing by. Because we are here, it's gonna be dark anyway by the time we get there. Okay. And then we could probably tr see about finding uh, an inn somewhere we can where we can sleep for the night. Kinda thought I'd see more than just one ammo box scattered around here. Ah, there we are. I'm seeing rad scorpions. Well, that's okay because we have a helmet. And a flat fender with infinite ammo. Oh yes. Oh yes, this thing is so great. I love it. Up, oh, and I'm seeing red over here too. Towards this uh, building. Oh, you're the hostile ones. You discovered Nipton Road pit stop. You're a Jackal gang member with a power fist. Okay, that's nice. And the compass is saying you have friends, is that right? Yeah, it sure looks like. Uh, who's the most dangerous? Not seeing anyone in metal armor, so I'm gonna say probably the one in the... in the leather, yeah, the one who just pulled their gun out. Okay, it's there down, and now to follow up with the rest of them. Ah, oh, come on. Let's get some cover, please. Thank you. Oh no, you picked, you picked the wrong weapon. That's an SMG, and I have good armor. Although, oh, you have friends. Okay, let's get the actually good armor on. Didn't I? Oh, you're you're somebody else. Excellent. Okay, is that everyone here? I'm still staying right on the compass, but I think it's because Eddie is making me see, you know, the ants three million miles that way. Just yeah, just just be certain. Okay, no key signatures. Just I think that's Eddie over there. There was a. Pit stop. This is a location. I think that what's her face, Re Regan, actually said that this is one of the dangerous areas that she was talking about. So the question becomes: Do we want to sleep here, you know, or at Nipton? Give it a nice sleep over there, and just uh, come back in the morning. Hmm. I'm gonna be honest. I'm tempted to just go through here now, if only because you know. It's a pit shelter. There's probably beds here. The question becomes, though, is it full of jackals as well? Because I'm going to be honest, if you have to fight for a bed, it's probably not worth it. It's probably not worth it. But we're here anyway, so hi, sir. How are you doing? That is a lovely axe you have. Come on. But not as nice as my gun. Oh, boy. And you can stop shooting my robot right now. And you can go down, please. How many jackals are in here? Also, ow. Yeah, you can go down too, please. Oh, ow, ow. Stimpak, Stimpak, please. You know that, Roland, hello, you have an interesting name. If you could please go down, that'd be wonderful. I don't want to die. Oh, I didn't realize I hadn't killed you. Let's see, we have 
No more heat signatures. <sighs> so, well, I, I I wasn't planning on clearing out a gang of powder of jackals, but I did. You know, almost quite by accident. And you know, it gives us a place to sleep for the night. So now then, let's quickly loot all these losers, head to bed for the night, and maybe figure out what's going on here. Or not. I just heard a voice. I don't see any red on the compass. So I'm not sure where it's supposed to be coming from. Oh man. It's like, even when I don't get anything out of it, I'll never get over how, how nice it is to be able to just look at a lock and know I'll probably be able to open it. And thanks to jury rigging, that means that I have pretty much, you know, an endless supply of uh, light armor repair kits for my leather armor. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> it also means that I actually don't need to use repair kits to fix up this... Uh, Recharge your plasma defender. I can just use like a laser pistol. There we go. Fully repaired. <laughs> Jury rigging, man. It is the best perk in the game. Just in terms of the the, the stuff you can get away with. <laughs> it's like, you, oh no, you, you have this super rare weapon that needs to get fixed fixed up. Well, you can use pretty much anything of that's you know of of that type. <laughs> that's nice. Anything good in here? Eh, plasma grenade, not too bad. Now, where is this voice I'm... Oh, there you are! You, sir, were not ready. I don't know why you chose to wait instead of just coming up. This leads to the Nipton Sewer. Is this the same Nipton Sewer that was, uh... You know, connected to the hellhole? Well, it's got giant rats in it. So I'm going to say probably. I want no part of this. Now then, pit stop public terminal. Da -da 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 -da. What are we going to find on this? Let's see. Da -da -da -da. Steve, urgent. I know you said to wait till you got back, but that Roche guy keeps broadcasting and people are getting wound up waiting. The help broadcast ended long ago, and we may even be too late already. The Vipers keep on launching raids in this area, and it's only a matter of time before they attack us again. I asked for a volunteer to help defend the place, but no one is willing to stay behind. We're heading in the direction of the Free Tech broadcast up by the Sunset Sasparilla headquarters. Please don't be mad. Hopefully you'll read this and meet up with what's, where, where the broadcast is coming from. Signed, your brother Jules. Okay. Somebody found a new home. If the last entry is anything to go by, it sounds like we should check out the... Oh! So that first entry was from the person before who left. And this is the new person who lives here. Probably the jackals I just killed. Northern defeat. I hate it when that happens between the NCR, the fiends, and what's left of those underground freaks. The north is unclaimable. We spotted their broadcast office near the sunken Poseidon gas station. We try to get in, but snipers force us to keep our distance. They're armed a, a lot better than us. And from what I hear, that office was designed to be, designed to be blast proof. Okay, so someone's broadcasting, and these guys don't like them. They're waging war against them. Several crew members have reported hearing very strange sounds in the basement. I thought they were just freaking out, freak each other out until I heard them myself last night on the range. It sounds like something is scraping at the wall from the outside. Whatever it is, it must be big because cracks are starting to appear. I sent word to Vex, but, but I doubt she'll spare any of her guys besides the truce. I'll be personally heading up, the, heading up the basement watch crew for now. We can't risk another breach point down there. Nails is out searching for clues in the waste, and I have left Roland in charge of the main shelter. On the upside, we managed to dismantle the blast doors in the end. It just led to some kind of burned out control room. Can't tell what the consoles were for. Everything looks fried, nothing is wired into our network. Found some meds and some, some stale food, at least. We'll, not, we'll make a nice change from rat meat. Huh. Well, now I'm curious what's in the basement. It's like some kind of crack in the wall, you said. Let's see. We have some bedrooms, some laundry rooms. This is actually a nice, decent little base. I mean, I could see myself kind of living here. Not long term, obviously, because it's kind of gringy and, you know, grotty. But it's, uh, 
it's it's nice. I mean, it's, it's like it's it's better than some places I've seen. It's like it's got a bathroom, a washing machine, you know, closets, kitchen spaces, but potentially something that's you know causing troubles down in the basement. So we'll you know, Eddie, can you hear me from here? Okay, yeah, he's coming. Door to Ant Caves. Uh, do we really want to go in here? It's like ants generally don't have anything really profitable. But there's nothing wrong with taking a peek, right? Like that? Okay. There's a lot of armor taking a peek. Eddie, Eddie, no. Eddie, Eddie, no. Okay. There is, in fact, a lot of armor taking a peek. Hi, how are you doing today? Eddie, come back, come back, Eddie. Is that... Okay. Eddie, I think we might be in trouble. Yeah, we're just going to quickly get, get the class grenades and throw them in there. Have fun! Laser Tommy Gun! Oh, that kind of rhymed. <laughs> Is that everyone? Please say yes. I would like that to be everyone. Yeah. Giant frigging ants with Legion Denarii in them. Oh boy. That sounds really big. Oh, that's really big. So we're going to quickly give presents. How much health do you have? Okay, a tolerable, tolerable, tolerable. Oh, hi! Okay. Giant ants. Giant queen. I don't know why they're here, but they are. Either way, it's more loot, and it's a reason why I actually don't want to live here. No, this is a bad place. Get out the rocket launcher. Like, we're, we're not living here. We're gonna take care of all of these guys. Hello, how are you doing today? Okay, let's get out the, yeah, this thing. Because these are, these are not very well armored. We're just taking them out as quickly as possible. I'm going through a lot of my ammo right now, aren't I? And you can eat it in the face, please. Thank you much. All right, is that the entire nest? No, we still have one more, looks like. Who is running away from me? Oh, no, we have more. We have more. Ow. Ow. Oh shoot, that's a legendary warrior ant. Eddie, 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 shoot them. Thank you, Eddie. Why do I do this to myself? There's nothing here for me. This is not, you know, a good place. I don't need to be here. And yet I keep going forward. Ooh. Hello, sexy. Five millimeter hunting rifle. Yes, that's very interesting. See, the main problem with hunting rifles is that they use really big, really expensive ammunition. Whereas this, let's see, let's take a look at this. Yeah, fires five millimeter ammo, which I have in spades. Yeah, 
That's nice. I like that. Of course, we're still, you know, kind of crippled. But, you know, what can you do? Eddie? There's a dark tunnel in front of us. I think we've learned our lesson. We're not going down there. Oh, but I want to... My curiosity is waging war with my ability to, you know, survive. And right now, curiosity is winning, unfortunately. Well, I'm seeing a light. Hello. Something man-made. A Brock flower. Exit to Mojave Wasteland. Okay, where, where we come out? Uh... Well, we're south of Prim. Ah, okay. I, I know where we are now. Just outside the road. Well, let's go back in there, you know, collect the loot from those guys we killed, and then head on to Nipton. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Actually, let's test this out. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, this works. And it sounds amazing. Oh, I, I, I like this, Eddie. Give this thing a scope and we're set for life. Oh, oh, that sound, that, that deep boom. Oh, oh. Oh yes, this is a good gun. <laughs> it's like, don't get me wrong. I'm not cheating on you. Recharge your plasma defender. But I'm giving it serious thought. <laughs> Hello? That's interesting. What actually is that that you have? You have that gun. You know, I could be wrong. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure this was a unique weapon. I'm not sure why you have it. But it's nice. I mean, I'm not going to argue with it. Okay, so Drake here had a nice light machine gun, which is nice. But mostly it's just something for me to sell back at the Mojave Outpost. Once we go talk, let's go see what Nipton has to offer. Ooh, hello. That's a lot of energy ammo. Don't mind if I do. See, this is why I love jury rigging. You, you can, you can take, you, you can fix up the good weapons with the ones you don't actually care about. It's like, oh, a cowboy repeater. That's only, you know, 100, 200 caps at most. But I can fix up the thing I actually care about. Oh, look, a caravan shotgun. We can fix up the hunt, the hunting shotgun with that. That's nice. Or a 10 millimeter pistol. We can fix up that gun with this. <laughs> yeah, this is actually a decent sized little base they've got here. Nice little shooting range. They got a kitchen. If it weren't for the giant ants, it'd be it'd be perfect. Alright, let's see. Nipton is Oh. <laughs> There's the outpost. Yeah, I was We have an issue. We have an issue over there. And a friendly? Okay. Hello, who are you? Did you see that? That guy was gonna kill me. Uh... No, I didn't see a darn thing. You don't look too shot up about it. Are you alright? I am now. I was just minding my own business heading west when that psycho came out of nowhere and started shooting. He kept shouting about stars or something. Does that make any sense to you? Stars? Did you maybe have some bottle caps with stars on them? Um, uh, no, I don't think so. Caps are caps, right? Look, I think I need a few moments to compose myself, then head out. Once again, thanks. Okay. Sucker! Okay, you need to go down now. Eddie. Oh, and they heard that. Of course they did. And they've got a plasma rifle. Why wouldn't they? 
Okay, this has been just a bizarre day. I'm not sure how to categorize this day, Eddie. Really, I'm not. It's like... Some girl attacks me... Because I knew about the Sunset Sarsaparilla stars. Because I knew about... Uh... Bottle cap stars. And therefore... She attacked me because... Since I knew about them... I must have had one. Alright, yeah, there we go. Nine star bottle caps. Stupid jerk. Alright. Now that that, uh... Whatever that was is over. Let's head on to Nipton. Hopefully it's in better it's in, it's in better shape than the rest of us. It's like, I don't know how to file this day. C for confusing. B for baffling. Real quick, what's what's an A word sir, that me that means you know amazingly weird? I don't know. Well, Ghost said the town had smoke coming from it. And I don't see any of it. So we'll quickly, you know, just poke our head in. Um. That's new. I don't think I've seen banners like that before. And we have... A dancing naked man, Eddie. See again about I don't know what this day has become. Welcome to Nipton. Who are you? Yeah! Who won the lottery? I did! Smell that air! Couldn't you just drink it like booze? <laughs> You are sounding a bit like you are. Well, you sound like my day has been so far. Are you feeling all right? Are you kidding me? Never felt better. Yeah. Are you a powder ganger? You you kind of kind of have that look. Powder ganger? What? I mean, yeah, used to be, sure. But not no more. Powder gang is small time, man. I'm a winner! I won the motherfucking lottery! <laughs> you keep going on about this lottery! <laughs> what are you talking about? What lottery? The lottery! That's what lottery! Are you stupid? Only Ooh, lottery that matters! That's a oh, bad oh move, my sir. God, smell that air! <laughs> yeah, I'm smelling that air. What I'm smelling is a powder ganger who just called me stupid and is uh, currently polluting my air. Yeah, later, sir. How about later this? You and your stupid red socks. Okay, yeah. That's smoke. That's fire. That's heads on a stick. Multiple heads on multiple sticks. And somebody being burned to death. Call me crazy, Eddie. I'm beginning to think that this might not be a good place for us. Okay, just poke around the corner. Okay. And bodies on crosses. Whatever banner that is, fires. And bodies that aren't on crosses. Okay, hello. This person appears to be near death. To remove them from the cross would kill them. Well, I'll be honest. They're powder gangers. So, on the one hand, it's like I'd be killing them anyway. At the same time, this, uh. Yeah, this is terrible. This is awful. Nobody really deserves to have this happen to them. And I'm going to be honest, if you did it to them, I'm... 
Well, I'm entertaining just walking up and shooting you in the head, you knock no talking necessary. Don't worry. I won't have you lashed to a cross like the rest of these degenerates. It's useful that you happen by. Oh, don't worry. I, I wasn't worried about that. The fate of the town of Nipton to memorize every detail. And then, when you move on, I want you to teach everyone you meet the lesson that Kaisar's Legion taught here, especially any NCR troops you run across. Oh, a lesson, huh? Who are you exactly? Besides some douchebag with about with about two minutes to live and a dog on his head? I am Wolpes Inculta of Kaiser's Legion. I serve my master as the greatest of his frumentari. We frumentari are soldiers of a different stripe, capable in battle, but skilled as infiltrators and agents as well. Okay, and is this what Kaiser's Legion represents? The Legion is civilization reborn. Our culture is based on virtues such as martial excellence, loyalty, and justice. But you'll learn all there is to know in due time. The Gatus Linnaeus, monster of the East, will soon arrive to command Kaisal's troops in battle. The dam will fall, and the rest of the profligate West will soon follow. Okay, yeah, now you're definitely dying. I'm sorry, it's like... From what I'm seeing, your civilization involves lashing people to crosses, burning them alive, sticking heads on pikes. Yeah, sounds like a pack of snarling dogs to me. <laughs> Indeed. Our hounds demonstrate greater loyalty to each other every day than the wretched inhabitants of this town. Tell me about this, Kaiser. You know, give, give me a face so I can shoot it later on. What can be said? He's a man of towering intellect, the founder of the Legion, conqueror of 86 tribes. Kaisar is the salvation of mankind, his Legion the rebirth of civilization in a benighted age. Don't worry, you'll know him well when you serve him. Or you'll be dead. Or I'll be dead. Oh, look at you. You're so proud, so petty, wearing a dog's head on your face. Like and this Legatus? The Gatus Linnaeus, monster of the East. Quite a man, if man he be. Kaisar prides himself on selecting the right tool to overcome each new obstacle. In Linnaeus, he found his hammer. He's never been defeated in battle. Fourteen tribes have laid down arms at his boots. Another five rendered extinct. His latest campaign in the wilds of Utah has concluded and he is en route. When he arrives, your doom arrives with him. Okay. L l l let's say I believe that. That just means I have another another face to shoot. It's like, I'm gonna be honest, you burnt a town. It's like, maybe some of them deserved it. Maybe they were power maybe some of them were power games, maybe some of them are NCR troops. I don't care. They don't deserve this, and it's not unforgivable. As are all crimes. If you feel strongly about it, attack us, and soon you won't feel a thing. Well, if you insist. Oh no! Look at you, little. Look at your little dance as you fall over. You incompetent. Bef well, not incompetent because you you did destroy a town, and I think that needs to be emphasized. It's like you burnt people to death. It's like, oh no. I'm shunned by the people who burnt a town. Oh, ow, ow, that, that, that's actually a problem. Come on, down you go. Okay, okay, so you have dogs, that's actually an issue. Eddie, Eddie, any time. Yeah, we're taking you, we're taking you down. You're scum, you're a waste of life. Oh no, Caesar's Legion hates us. What a terrible situation. And level up, all right, what do we want? We have 15 skill points to play with. We could get science up to 80. Uh, energy weapons, we'll pump that up as well. There we go, That that was that was good. I'd like to have some round numbers, but that's getting up there for all of them. 
And what do we want? Let's see. We already we already took finesse, so better criticals is good. But also tempted by action boy. Weapon handling could be good because I, you know, I pretty have, I have pretty low strength. Adamantium skeleton. Your limbs only receive fifty percent of the damage they normally would. That is nice. Effectively, I have limbs twice as powerful. Sniper, very nice. Uh. I think it has to be better criticals, though. Like, it's, it's just... I'm built for criticals. <sighs> it's like... I'm not in a good mood, Eddie. It's like, these guys are all... Well, at the point of death, so we might as well put them out of their misery. <sighs> An entire town. Gone. Because these guys thought they were disloyal. Like, yep, sorry, I'd save you, but, um... Well, I really don't know how. It's like, not like, not, not like I have the medicine. Oh, Ranger Ghost is not going to be pleased. Well, a town is gone. And, you know, maybe it was dumb of me to do this. To, um... Basically declare war on the Legion. Oh crap, I just declared war on the Legion. That's gonna come back and bite me in the bite me in the butt, isn't it? Oh boy. And yet looking around. Yeah, I don't think I've done it. I don't think I'd have changed anything I did. I'm gonna count this as a win.